All right, I'll tell the whole story from the horse's mouth. Let me get some water. Are you sure you're ready to do this? Are you sure you can handle this flight back with him? Like your liver, you can't handle it. No, 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 all this stuff. I said, guys, you know, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. So anyway, tournament ends, get on the plane. First thing, he hands me a beer. 15 hour flight, we start drinking. Uh, about, you know, five or six beers in, you know, we kind of start talking trash to each other. We're just, you know, kind of kidding around, going back and forth and keep drinking, keep drinking. He's got Rolling Stones blasting, full blast. So I get up to go to the bathroom and he's kind of in my way and he won't get out of my way. I'm like, dude, get out of my way, you know, I gotta, gotta go to the bathroom. He's like, what? What you say to me? He's like, all oh, kind of getting drunk, so he headbutts me. So he headbutts me again, and I'm like, all right. So I headbutt him back. Well, this turns into like a wrestling match on the back of the plane. We're throwing each other on the back of the plane. The pilot's got to come back, tell us to calm down, because somebody's going to get hurt. Anyway, to make a long story short, we laughed, we cried. The full spectrum of emotions were displayed on this 15-hour flight. And it took me about three days to get over the hangover from the flight. So that's the story. And he's a wild man, but he's my boy, so I love him. But it was a crazy, crazy flight. <laughs>